We explain the 1932 World Series. In 1932, 24% of all Americans were now unemployed. Many were living in Hoovervilles, some driving long distances for work, some riding the rails. The Bonus Army went to D.C. to ask for their World War I pensions and were dispersed by the U.S. military. The Tuskegee syphilis experiment began, FDR won the presidency, Amelia Earhart flew solo across the ocean, vaudeville theaters were going extinct, and Polaroid cameras were invented. Sonny Liston, Little Richard, and Elizabeth Taylor joined the world, and the New York Yankees met the Chicago Cubs. With Connie Mack's sell-off of his A's, which looked like his 1914 sell-off, the Athletics fell off the American League leaderboard 13 games behind the 107 game-winning Yankees, who are now led by former Cubs manager Joe McCarthy. An ailing Hornsby was notably absent, where the Cubs took down the Pirates with 90 wins and Kyler and Grimes, but the story of the series was less the games and more of the bad blood. There were tensions between the two teams even before the series started. For instance, the Cubs had fired Yankee manager Joe McCarthy for failing to go back to the series after 1929. Now he was going to step into Wrigley Field in a Yankee uniform. Also, the Cubs had acquired former Yankee shortstop Mark Caning from the Tigers midseason and had voted not to pay him full postseason salary, even though his 300 batting average helped them get into the series above the Pirates. Babe Ruth and the fans took to the papers to call the Cubs cheapskates. Trash talk made its way on the field. Much of the insults were aimed at Ruth. Cubs fans called him fat and washed up, and Cubs pitcher Guy Bush even called them the N-word. The Yankees would be fueled to sweep the Cubs 4-0. But the most famous moment of the series would be the home run of Ruth in Game 3 against Charlie Root, where fans swore he pointed to the outfield before hitting it out his second homer of the day. Forgotten in that mythical moment was the fact that Lou Gehrig also had two home runs that day. In fact, for the series, Gehrig went 9 for 17, had a 529 batting average, three home runs, nine runs, and eight RBIs. Bill Dickey came close behind with 438. The Yankees won and had now swept three. Babe Ruth hit his last postseason home run in his last postseason games. This World Series would produce 13 Hall of Famers.